You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 800. Today's Devo is called, It's Not a Hall Pass. Hey, I'm Allison Elizabeth, a faith-filled, coffee-obsessed baker from Miami, Florida. As my dreams widened and my to-do list got longer, I found it harder to find devotional time. After seeing many people struggle to do the same, I set out to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome back to another episode of the My Morning Devotional Podcast. I hope that you guys are off to an amazing start to your day. Today, we're going to be jumping into Romans chapter 6. We're going to be reading verses 1 through 4. And it says, What shall we say then? Are we going to continue to sin that might, that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death that in order that just as Christ was raised from the death by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. I label today's Devo, it's not a hot pass. We're reading the words of Paul saying that we cannot just allow God or the grace of God and what Jesus did give us the hall pass to sin. That is not what we need to be doing. We need to understand that when we accepted Jesus, when we lived this life, when we live the life that we are currently living, by giving Jesus the forefront of our lives, by putting him at the center, by making him Lord of our life, we understand our old ways were put in the grave so that we can walk in the newness of life. So no, we don't have a hall pass to sin. We don't have a hall pass to be um, unrighteous. We may fall into it like we've been talking about this week. We can walk in deceitfulness. We can walk in gossip. We can fall into temptation. It is not exempt from us, but we need to make sure that we're not doing it blindly, purposefully, just because we know that we have Jesus in our corner. That's not how it works. And so I hope that that just, if it brings you some sort of conviction, that's the Holy Spirit talking. If it doesn't align with what you or how you're living your life, then that's a good thing. It's just remembering that if you're using your faith as a hall pass, then you don't truly understand the freedom that this book gives you. So my prayer for all of us today is to understand that we've been given a level of freedom that we cannot take for granted. So don't use the freedom as a hall pass to be unrighteous. Use this freedom to remove the shackles of unrighteousness. Don't be bound to your old ways of life. Understand that there is freedom that you can walk in that was given to you freely for us to use, to utilize, and to ask for strength, for wisdom, for grace, for mercy. We've been justified. We have been given an opportunity to a newness of life. So let the old ways go into the grave. They're not coming back. Don't use your faith as a hall pass. And remember that God is good. He sits on the throne of your life. He sits on the throne of all of our lives. And we won't, don't want to take a single day for granted. He reigns in heaven. He reigns here on earth. He reigns over your heart. Allow him to be the king of your heart. Don't give that space to something else because you're not going to get the time back in which you do. So the prayer for today. Father God, we thank you for this Friday. We ask that you give us the strength to walk away from unrighteousness. May we never use our faith as a hall pass to be in wrong standing with you. May we always be in right standing with you. May we try our hardest. May we never step out of line deliberately. And if we do, please bring us back quickly, Lord. Don't let our hearts turn cold. Let us be on fire for you and for your word. We thank you for what you have in store for us. We ask for your protection this weekend. We love you and we honor you today and every day. We pray this all in your son's mighty name. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you for tuning in today. I pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. Make sure to follow the My Morning Devotional account on Instagram at MyMorningDevo. There you will find quick links to subscribe to our podcast and the written devotionals. 
Until tomorrow, I pray that not only your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.